Y'all, football season is upon us, which means it is also tailgate season. And as a registered dietitian who loves a good party, I also wanna bring healthier snacks that don't look healthy, don't taste healthy, but have nutrition in it that will make you feel good and get you cheering your team on. So let's buckle up and go team go. people and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name's Nicole I'm a registered dietitian with a master's in sports nutrition and I've been in the nutrition fitness world for well over 10 years trying to make nutrition and living a healthy lifestyle fun and not boring today we are going over three super simple easy and nutritious tailgating snacks that you can bring to either a tailgating party at your home or just at the stadium I grew up going to football games with my dad, so this time of the year is very nostalgic for me. And these three tailgating snacks are basically inspired by traditional tailgating appetizers, but I'm gonna add my dietitian twist, swap out some ingredients, add better for you ingredients, but I promise you the taste is gonna be exceptional. The three apps we're gonna make today are buffalo chicken style pinwheels, two, a high protein herby dip, yum, and three, caramelized onion cream cheese stuffed peppers. I am stoked. We're gonna start with those cream cheese caramelized onion stuffed peppers. So let's begin. The first ingredient that I already kind of prepped for is I took those mini bell peppers and I cut them in half, took out all the veins, took out all the seeds. The biggest part though is I'm gonna grab this whole onion and slice it into very fine slices of onion and put it onto a pan. Now my pan is already heating up and it's heating to a medium heat. You don't want the pan to be too, too hot because we want to caramelize these onions. Once your pan is nice and roasty toasty, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're just gonna sweat out the onions. If you feel like this is too hot, turn it down a little bit. You don't want to burn the onions. Maybe we want to cook them nice and slow. I'm gonna add some salt. I like cooking with salt and adding it throughout the cooking process to develop the flavors. If you or any of your family members have high blood pressure, definitely use salt more sparingly and you can always use Mrs. Dash and those salt substitutes, you know, to add some flavor to your food. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't done this trick before. Could it go terribly wrong? 1000%. But the internet told me to put a little bit of baking soda onto the onions as they caramelize to speed up the process. So let's see if that works and I don't ruin an onion or I may just have to start over. So. Sprinkle, sprinkle. As your onions are caramelizing, let's get ready for the peppers. So a little bit of olive oil onto a baking sheet. And then I use a paper towel to spread the olive oil around. However many bell peppers you are using, I'm just gonna put them all down. Make sure all of your bell peppers have space on the baking sheet, but the veggies are too close. They will steam onto each other and we won't, don't want soggy veggies. We want kind of crisp veggies. Once your peppers are prepared, your oven is at 400. Put these suckers into the oven for about eight minutes. Also, the baking soda is like making these incredibly caramelized so stinking quick. That's insane. After eight minutes, your peppers should look like this. Not much has changed. I'm gonna let them cool as I make the mixture. In this bowl, I already have two cloves of garlic, minced, teeny tiny. And then what I'm really using to make this cream cheese stuffed pepper healthier is the Kite Hill cream cheese. If you haven't seen my video, I tried all the Kite Hill products. I highly recommend most of them. Some of them, not so much, but especially this cream cheese, I use it on everything. So they actually use almonds to make the cream cheese. Pair to regular Philadelphia or regular cream cheese, for a little bit more than one ounce, it just has 70 calories. Regular cream cheese is around 90 to 100. This has all unsaturated fat. So six grams of total fat, but it's all unsaturated. Because I don't have that many bell peppers, I'm only gonna use half of this container. A little bit of pepper. Now I love pepper and I like pepper with caramelized onion. So I'm putting a little bit more than a little bit. Whatever you like. A little bit of salt, just a little because the cream cheese has a little salty taste. I'm gonna put all of the caramelized onions. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Italian seasoning just to bring some extra flavor into my mixture. Make sure you're tasting this along the way and add the seasonings that you like. 
I probably would recommend adding red pepper flakes to this to make it spicier. Granted, if you're making this for a party and you're not really quite sure what people's spice levels are, it's a safe bet not to add the red bell peppers. But this is such a quality mixture, low saturated fat. It has the onions, it has Italian seasoning, light on the sodium, big punch of flavor, love it. Now let's add it to our peppers. When you're making these for people, make sure your hands are clean, obviously. And then you want your peppers to cool down a little bit so it's easier to fill. And then just get a spoonful of the cream cheese, add it into the bell peppers. Pro tip, this is pretty darn messy. So if you have like a pastry bag or even a Ziploc bag and you cut the corner of the Ziploc bag to make it into a pastry bag, you could totally do that. And I actually do recommend it if you're making this for people to minimize germs or just wear gloves. You know, put these back in the 400 degree oven for another eight to 10 minutes and they'll be ready to go. I also have so much leftover of the cream cheese filling. I'm going to be putting this on sandwiches all week long. Stoked. They look a little dingy because brown really doesn't photograph well. So I recommend topping with like green onion or even I'm gonna add a little parsley on top. Next time I'm gonna make them spicier. Ooh, that is good. The little salt on the bell pepper really pulls it all together, but I think it needs a little hot stuff. So next recipe. Time to make the high protein herby dip. I am stoked about this. I grew up having Greek yogurt dips, and this one is one of my favorites. I use a food processor. You could always just cut everything up into teeny tiny pieces, but why do that when I have a food processor and that can do all of my hard work for me? You know what I mean? Into the food processor, I want about a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Could you use full fat Greek yogurt? Yes, and there are studies that say using the full fat dairy is actually better for satiety, meaning you'll be full for longer and you'll get full quicker. So you totally could use whole milk. Granted, I'm gonna be using extra virgin olive oil in this recipe to add that fatty mouthfeel, but also make sure it's unsaturated fat instead of saturated fat that's found in animal products. I had half of an avocado in my refrigerator, so you might as well use it. And it's just gonna add a little bit more of that creamy. Also, avocados are full of healthy fiber, and that fiber is good for our gut bacteria. It promotes a healthy hormone level, it promotes a good mood, as well as good digestion, and who doesn't love it? About a handful of cilantro, and then I'm also gonna do a handful of parsley as well. The more herbs, the better. Could you use dill? Yes, rosemary, yes. Whatever you like, and I'm adding the stems to it. If you're making this for a lot of people, maybe only one clove of garlic. I'm making it for myself and my boyfriend, and I'm adding three cloves of garlic. Totally up to you. And then half of a lemon, if you rather lime, you can also use lime, but I'm a big lemon gal. Let me know in the comments below if you're more a lemon person or a lime person. Adding a little bit of salt, pepper. I'm also gonna add half of a jalapeno. I want there to be heat, so I'm adding with the veins and the seeds. If you don't want the heat and you just want the flavor of jalapenos, take out the veins, take out the seeds. I'm a heat gal. If you have a ninja bullet, any kind of blender, you could also do this and that. And when you think it's done, just make sure everything is chopped up. Make sure to taste it, see if you need to add any more salt, any more pepper. Holy cow, yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Finish the mixing and you are ready for your high protein dip. Holy freaking cow, you need this. It's herby, it's bright, it's so stinking good. And last recipe. Buffalo chicken pinwheel time, and this is the one that I am uh, most excited about. This recipe could not be simpler, but again, buffalo chicken pinwheels usually have full fat cream cheese. I'm using half of the Kite Hill cream cheese, putting it in here, again, Kite Hill cream cheese, full of that unsaturated fat. You know that from our other recipes. And then I'm gonna grab about a half of a cup of low fat cheese. I'm using low fat because less saturated fat, and my whole thing is trying to minimize saturated fat and minimizing added sugars in my day as much as I possibly can. So this low fat cheese actually uses 2% milk instead of whole milk. I'm also gonna start with half a cup of buffalo hot sauce. Of course, Frank's because that's the only way to go, in my opinion. If I ever need more hot sauce, I totally can, but it's better to start less and add more than have too much of an ingredient. So that's how I cook. And then mix away until there is zero lumps. You want like, as smooth as a freaking texture as you possibly can get. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a lot of black pepper, because you know I am a big black pepper girly. 
And I'm being a little lazy. I'm not gonna use fresh garlic on this one. I'm just gonna use garlic powder, a teaspoon or so, a quarter teaspoon. Make sure your hands are clean, and if you're tasting your stuff along the way, make sure you just keep changing your spoons. Now that there's no lumps, I'm gonna put two green onions that I cut up very fine, and then two stalks of celery that I cut up really fine. This is totally optional. I just like buffalo chicken with some celery and onion. If you also wanted to add some blue cheese, you totally could add those crumbles in here as well. Once mixed, I am gonna add about a cup and a half of shredded chicken. I actually just use rotisserie chicken and then put it in my food processor, mix it up. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the last step is really just putting your filling into a tortilla and wrapping it up. I, you probably heard me say this if you watch my videos, freaking love the extreme wellness wraps. This is the high fiber one, but they also have a whole wheat one. This is the only one that my store had. Look how big this is. <gasps> Literally bigger than my head. One wrap has 80 calories, two grams of fat, 24 grams of carbohydrates, and 17 of those grams is fiber. Remember, fiber helps with fullness, helps increase your mood, helps decrease perceived stress, some studies show. It also is gonna help feed the good gut bacteria so we have better digestion. And who doesn't love good digestion? Eight grams of protein, zero added sugars. Dream wrap. Here's the tricky part, time to roll the pinwheel. So spread a thin layer of your buffalo chicken mixture throughout the entire wrap, leave no crust behind. When it's time to roll, you wanna make sure the roll is tight, yet don't squish the buffalo chicken out. After you roll these up, you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator for two hours so that they can solidify. I cut them into one inch pieces, and this is what they look like, beautiful pinwheels. I might just make these for lunch sometimes too. Wow, that's good. And that is the video's three recipes. Check it off, healthy, easy, freaking bomb. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and family. If y'all make any of these recipes, please talk to me. DM me on Instagram, Nicole Hoskins. Even make it on TikTok and tag me at Nicole Hoskins. Let me know in the comment section below what you wanna see next. I am here to make all of your nutrition dreams come true. And until next time, drink your water, eat your fruits and vegetables, and be kind to yourself and those around you. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.